Welcome to a product segment brought to you by UtahGunExchange.com, where Utah residents can buy and sell their firearms and accessories for free. I'm Nick. I'm Kenny. And we want to show you a product that comes straight from Utah. It's called the Gun Box, and their motto, safe storage, quick access, defend responsibly. Um, we want to show you, this is a really cool product. It's not the end all of gun safes, right. is it Kenny? No, not at all. It's not the two ton safe that you have uh, to keep everything in, obviously. This is an aircraft grade aluminum clamshell design here. Uh, first, right out of the gate, I noticed it's, it's nice and it's small, it's compact, it's compact. right? So size-wise, it looks to be 10 inches by 11 inches and maybe, maybe three inches tall at its peak. And this thing also weighs about seven pounds. But what else strikes you, Kenny? It doesn't look like a safe. Exactly. It looks right? like a giant heavy router. It, that's exactly, <laughs> a really like from the 80s or something. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. So uh, what's really cool is we're gonna show you this. It's got a couple neat features on the exterior that we wanna show you. We've got a fingerprint scanner. This is the biometric model. There's one below this one that's just an RFID model. This one is 299, the RFID is 279. So for 20 bucks more, I say get this one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, beyond this, you can buy the premier version, which is four hundred and seventy-five dollars. Uh, it's got a couple bells and whistles on it that a lot of folks might like out there. This is the two ninety-nine biometric model. I'm going to show you on the back here. We've got it plugged in right now. It's got a built-in lithium-ion battery, two USB charging ports, Kensington lock uh, capability. Mm -hmm. What are those for? The, for the laptop locks. Okay, great. So somebody didn't bring their cable locks, you get to keep your gun. Yeah. Fantastic. As they're robbing your house, they've got a little more difficult. Um, the off and on button is right here in the rear. And it looks like you've got some mounting options as well. Uh, if you need to mount it to a desk or, uh, or a nightstand, mm -hmm. right? We've got what looks like a speaker here. And we've got a blue light that lets us know it's charging. Uh, what I really like is that it's got those USB ports. And I don't know about you, Kenny, but my wife and I always have our phones next to us, sitting mm, on the nightstand, phones, they're charging. Tablets. Absolutely. And you're, you're you're messing with them before you go to bed, and then you're like, oh man, I need this charged through the night. Right. So you sit on the nightstand, it's plugged in, but if this is plugged in, in that nightstand outlet, which is really valuable. I mean, I we have gladiator matches <laughs> to, to fight over ours. Sorry, honey, my phone gets charged today. Yeah, mine's important. Um, this is nice because, in fact, both his and hers, Outlets can be plugged into that, right? Right. And and charge during the night all through one power outlet. So um, I think that's it for the outside perks. Got those tiny little gaps here. It's almost seamless. Almost seamless. Um, doesn't wobble at all the top from the bottom. But tiny little gaps. You might be able to if you're a bad guy want to, or a, a really determined individual. Get a screwdriver in there, skinny screwdriver, and start to pry it open. It might take some work though. Um, but let's show you how this works. So I'm just gonna scan my finger. Already pre-programmed it. Boom, we have Kenny's FNS in here, hanging out, doing its thing. We'll uh, make clear, good to go. Um, wanna show you a couple of the interior perks here. We've got, it's a hydraulic system. It opens in about two seconds from open to close. Um, and we've got, it's rubber lined, a lot of screws, aircraft grade aluminum, we mentioned that already. There's some plastic parts here, which is housing all of the microprocessors and the, and the scanners and things. Um, there's a, a bunch of buttons here, audible alarm off and on, tracking alarm off and on, fingerprint plus RFID. So rubber lined, it feels like the bottom of a gun mat that you'd use for cleaning and pretty simple design here, but it's gonna do the job. See, here's some mounting holes for putting it on the dresser or whatever. Any, anything else that strikes your fancy here, Kenny? Uh, no, it looks pretty heavy duty though. I love these, uh, love these uh, heavy duty. Uh... Yeah, these are better than what I see on the hood of my Audi. Right? I think. Yeah, my Audi one failed. But what I noticed too is it's actually rather difficult to close it back up. It's a, it's a strong hydraulic. They spared no expense. Right. All right, so we're gonna show you how to program this thing. Really quick, you push this button to turn it in learning mode. You're gonna get this green light on the top, close it, and then you're gonna scan your finger. One, it blinks to let you know, it read it. Click again, and a third time. Blinks a bunch of green times to let you know it's done. I'm gonna try my middle finger, nope. That one works. I like that it's a quick response. Very I don't quick have to response. hold my finger and go, oh, did it get it, did it get it? No, right. it's just, it's, it's super going. quick, super yeah. quick. Okay, what if you wanna, uh, add another finger? Add another finger. Program the misses. Yeah, program the misses. 
So you're gonna push that button again, just one time. Close it up. Can you hear the misses? One, two, three. Okay, so now I should be able to open it. It does. And then you should be able to open it. Awesome, nice. That's really cool. And so if another fingerprint tries to access mm. it, nothing. No boy, no. Nothing. All right, so let's say you and the missus are out, but you want to have give the babysitter or your, another family member to have temporary access to this device, um, but don't want to program their fingerprint in. What you can do is give them this nifty little RFID bracelet. And the way this works is pretty simple. You're just going to scan this over the top of the shield, opens right up. When you get home, you take the bracelet back from them. You don't let the babysitter go home with it because I'm <laughs> guessing these aren't very cheap. Right. right. Now, this will you can use this bracelet or you can use any other RFID uh, device, correct? Yes. Uh, that'll work as long as you program it. Right. To the box. And to program it, it's the same stat. It's the same stat. It's the exact same thing. You just push the button one time, close it up, scan the RFID, it blinks. Now it knows now it this knows. device will open right. the box. Just like that. Okay. Let's say while you're out and about, you have your suspicions about somebody programming their own fingerprint while they had your temporary access RFID. And so you want to come home and reprogram or, or erase all the fingerprints and the RFIDs. You're going to tap it once to put it in learning mode. It's now green. And in fact, then you hold it down for five seconds. And we'll show you here on the back side, the lights are blinking red three times and then blue, red and green all blink together. And you hear a little clicking sound. That's coming out of the speaker to let you know this will not close because you have nothing programmed. There's no way for it to lock. So kind of like that. And it's freaking out. Nope, won't stay shut for me. Nice. So I need to push the green button one time, close it. First thing I wanna do is program my bracelet. Okay, now it's green. Should have been worked, should have worked. And it does. Next thing I wanna do, reprogram fingerprints. Tap the button, close it up, scan my fingerprint three times. Good to go. Excellent. Okay, the other thing you wanna make note of is don't forget the misses. She needs to reprogram her fingerprint as well, right? Now that we've reset it, right? Now that we've reset it. Uh, one other cool feature here is let's say you want to be extra super duper sure on this biometric safe that only you have access to it. Well, there's two fail safes here. Little switch here that says fingerprint and RF. Switch that to on, close the box. Now, what has to happen is the wrist has to scan. It lights up the fingerprint scanner to let you know it still needs another finger, it needs a fingerprint as well. Now it's got both forms of identification, it will open. Two forms of ID. That's right. It's like cashing a check. Getting it notarized. <laughs> okay. But if you just scan your fingerprint, it's going to blink. It's telling you, we need the RFID. We need something up in this area. Now we're going to go. Nice. But if you have that switched and you lose a bracelet or a finger, then you're, <laughs> then you're in trouble. So I kind of like the one or the other idea. Right. Giving somebody temporary access. Maybe put this in the real safe, you know, if you don't want to have anybody have temporary access. Um, it's just a good backup. I kind of like it. Yeah, absolutely. So this version also has an audible alarm and tracking systems. Uh, well, it's got the buttons for it, but it's not the Premiere version, so it doesn't have any tracking. But the Premiere does have GPS uh, text message alerting system. It's a subscription-based system, though, so you're going to have to pay for it. I don't know if it's on an annual or a monthly basis to get those text message alerts if it's moved. This, on the description on the website, it says it's got an audible alarm, but the only alarm we've been able to get this to announce is when there's no fingerprints programmed and it won't shut. The lock will not engage. So I think that's it. Any other thoughts on this box, Kenny? I mean, it's this isn't going to keep bad guys from getting to my guns. No, no. I mean, it's, it's going to be definitely a deterrent. They're not going to know what to look for. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a benefit. Um, I think it's more designed uh, in terms of who it's designed for. It's designed to, to keep uh, little hands out of it. Mm -hmm. It's designed to keep little fingers out of trigger guards. This can absolutely be broken open. 100%. Not a problem. Yeah. But it's going to take time. Someone's going to hear it. 
And if somebody wants to walk off with your gun, whether it's in a box or not, if it's under your pillow, they're still walking off with your gun. Right. Right. They have enough time, they're gonna get into this. The issue is we wanna be more responsible as gun owners and to reduce the number of accidental shootings. That's that's yeah. really what it comes down to. But at the same time, not relinquish our ability to access our firearms in our time of need. Mm -hmm. So props to the, the gun box guys. I think they've done a great job. It's stylish, looks good. As far as we can tell, it works fantastic, and I think they've uh, they've produced a great product here. I'll be picking one up myself. Thanks so much for tuning in. This has been another product segment by UtahGunExchange.com.